I've not been well. Appar I didn't know. I've been at sixes and sevens for a while, and I didn't know what was wrong. But apparently, I'm going through the change. For you, you could whisper it. The menopause, and um, there's good news and bad news. It's pre perimenopause. It's just the beginning. So there's so much to look forward to. I can't wait. Um, but the doctor said you know, a couple of things, good news and bad news. Uh, the, the bad news, he thought it was bad news. I didn't think it was such bad news. He said, I will be less inclined uh, for sexual activity. <laughs> well, you can bring that on. Um, I've never been bang up for sex. I, no, it's icky and boring and, and awkward. You've got to take your pants off. Um, <laughs> I'd so much rather eat a Toblerone, I can't tell you. Like, I... But people think I'm some kind of sex maniac because I've got five children, right? I've only actually had sex six times. <laughs> five to get the kids and once because we needed to get the bathroom retiled. And... <laughs> If you're thinking I f the Tyler, you're wrong. Um, <laughs> God, bless me. Um, yeah, so I've been a bit, you know, up and down. Apparently this whole shop's shutting down and um, guess who's not having a closing down sale. But I, <laughs> I went to the doctor and, and, you know, I told him all my problems and, you know, he told me what to expect, you know, with menopause. He said, oh, you get a bit cranky and, you know, tell me about it. I've been cranky. Look, I'm cranky with all the kids. I actually even started turning on my favourite, <laughs> which is wrong, you know, like... We've got this little boy who lives next door. His name's Peter, right? He doesn't live on his own. He's got parents, but um, his name's Peter. And I just think, you know, if you're just going to have one, <laughs> Come up with something more interesting than Peter. But anyway, it's none of my business what they call him. But anyway, so Peter comes over to play with my kids and my favourite, he's so gorgeous. And he said to me, Mum, how come you always let all of us play on the roof? But whenever Peter comes over, you never let him. I'm like, because Peter's IVF. He cost them thousands. He started out a little Petri dish in a freezer, for God's sake. <laughs> you, my little love, there's so many where you came from. 